nice of you to drop in. Hello people, I'm the Comic Book Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking about how to make a good Superman game. Now obviously, making a good Superman game is not the easiest thing in the world. Making a good Batman game is not that easy. Nevertheless, a character like Superman, where you have to dress all these things. Now first off, let's start off with um, people's main concerns, which are, you know, like the impossibilities, like the things where, like, this is a video game, you can't have Superman doing this, this, and this, um, and this is the stuff you would expect to be able to do as Superman. Obviously, when you go into the game, you have to be like, okay, this is a video game. Think of when you play the Arkham games. All, hardly anyone ever questions, why can't I just get in the Batwing and go to Metropolis? How come people would be like, oh, I'm Superman, how come I can't go to Gotham, or how come I can't go to the moon? Why aren't you thinking the same thing with Batman? Because you realize, hey, I'm in a Batman game, this is awesome, I shouldn't be complaining, considering this game is so amazing. You've got to realize, when you go into a Superman game, it is a video game. Same thing with Batman. When you people don't complain about it when you're in the Batman games, no one's like, darn it, why can't I go to Metropolis? Why can't I go and be Superman? This sucks. No one's thinking that. So you gotta have the same mindset for a Superman game. When you go into it, be like, hey, this is a video game, that's why I can't go and fly over uh, to every speck of Earth or the universe. So yeah, you just, you just gotta go into it thinking of video game, which, you know, some people might be like, but it's Superman, I should be able to do whatever I want. When you're Batman, you should be able to do whatever you want. You should be able to take the bat wing and go wherever. But you can't. So, same thing for Superman. It's a video game. Now, in my opinion, this game should borrow from Arkham Asylum. Think. Start simple. Don't go all out. You gotta start simple. And Arkham Asylum is my favorite Arkham game. It's an amazing game. So you gotta borrow from Arkham Asylum. Look what it did. You look at Arkham Asylum, it's like, hey, you're not starting in a free realm of Gotham. You've got Arkham Island, which is gigantic still, and it's not, it's like, you know, on the outskirts of Gotham, you can get to see Gotham and stuff, that's pretty cool. How about in Ark, in, um, in the Superman game, it's on New Krypton, I think New Krypton would be great. If you don't know what New Krypton is, it's, uh, the bottled city of, K city of Kandor, you know, it got, uh, grown, I don't know, a better expression for it. It got big, back to normal size. And uh, they, the Kryptonian scientists, like create a planet that it could uh, go on. So yeah, that's New Krypton. And the reason that's a great place is you think of Earth. It's like you're Superman. Why can't you just fly straight through buildings? And uh, besides the fact that, like I said earlier, you gotta acknowledge it is a video game. But why can't you just fly straight through buildings, punch people, do all the stuff you want to do? Well, in New Krypton, I think they should pull a Phantom Menace. If I know a lot of you are confused by what I mean by that. The Phantom Menace video game had where when you were in Tatooine, if you attacked one of these guards, you're a Jedi, you have a lightsaber. If you attacked one of these guards, they would throw thermal detonators at you. Thermal detonators were like nukes in that game. To me, on New Krypton, you take down a building, you have a whole city of Kryptonians come after you, and you're dead. I think that's how they should do it, it would be great, it would stop idiots from like trying to take down a building, and it would be a fun challenge, you know how many people on YouTube would be like, may it like took down 20 Kryptonians, it would be awesome, it would be a fun challenge whenever you want to, you know what, I'm gonna go and take down this building and see how many Kryptonians I can take down, it would be an awesome thing to do, and it would make sense, and it would be perfect. Now before I go any further, I need to say how this game should start out, to me it should start out like Arkham Asylum. Another thing, like I said, borrow from Arkham Asylum. You see how Arkham Asylum started with a like a two-minute cutscene or so, and then the rest you could de you could sort of say it was like a five-minute cutscene or six-minute cutscene because the first like six minutes of the game, you are walking along with all this great dialogue of like Joker and the guys like doing going through the whole procedure since they've you know Joker's been to Arkham Asylum so many times they're going through this great procedure of that. To me, it should be how New Krypton got started. It could be a great cutscene of just, you know, how New Krypton got started, so that way people aren't just like, why are we on New Krypton? What's going on? And then what happens is, so it starts off with a cutscene, like a two, three minute cutscene, and it shows you how New Krypton got started, because you could do it easily in like three minutes. You wouldn't have to go very long. And then go in game. What happens in game is, uh, you're walking through and you're becoming part of Zod's army, because what happens in the comics is, Zod becomes the general of the Kryptonian of the new Krypton military force, and Superman doesn't trust him, thinks he's up to no good because it's Zod. 
and he turns out he is. It's a shocker. Uh, so he joins his army. He wears the whole Kryptonian uniform, and he like investigates stuff. He's trying to find stuff that's like shady with the new Kryptonian army, and uh, trying to find out what Zod's up to. That way, you could it could be like Arkham Asylum. You're like walking through. I don't think anyone would have a problem with copying Arkham Asylum. I don't think anyone would be like, just copy the Ar the opening of Arkham Asylum. You know, one of the greatest games of all time. It doesn't matter. It's you know they're both owned by DC and Warner Brothers, and it's and it would be great. It'd be fine if they borrowed from Arkham Asylum. I'd be disappointed if they didn't. You're like walking through. You're getting in like you're getting inducted into the army, and like shows, and it could open with a training segment because we see like Superman trained with the people, um, in the new Kryptonian storyline, and it's really cool. And another thing that adds to this element that they really need to bring in. The, like I was talking about, when Superman's investigating, this adds a stealth element, because you're trying to go around, you're trying to find stuff that's wrong, you're like, you could go around and be hacking computers and looking at stuff, spying on people, which again will be really hard when everyone can see everything and hear everything, but not everyone's going to be constantly doing that, but it does add a stealth element, so you can't just go all brutal and, like, punch everything you don't like. Now, as far as enemies go, this is the hard part, because of the fact that, you know, everyone on New Krypton is like sort of peaceful at the moment until War of the Superman happens which I'll talk about in a bit um, for enemies to me you should have uh, you know just like any planet you have evil people you know like Earth or by any planet Earth's the only one <laughs> so yeah you have evil Earthlings you have evil Kryptonians it would make sense. You, they could just add a new thing, because obviously they're not going to follow the complete new Krypton storyline. They're not going to follow everything about it. They didn't follow every single thing in the Arkham Asylum comic book. They don't have to do the same thing for new Krypton. They could add, like, these people, and this could be a great thing to show that, oh, General Zod's trustworthy. You don't have to, you know, like, General Zod helps you take these people down. Like, there's these, these bad people on Krypton. And you have to fight them, and you have. And while that's happening, you also have the sto the storyline of you're trying to investigate Zod and figure this stuff out. Another cool thing could be they could borrow from the comic book, and the fact that in the comic, Doomsday was dropped down on Earth, and a bunch of like Kryptonians just beat the living crap out of him and killed him. But they could do that. They could drop him down on you, like you could see the stuff of Lex Luthor, because in the comics. The um, General Lane gets Lex Luthor out of prison because stuff that happened previously where Lex Luthor teamed up with Brainiac, yada yada yada, I'm not going to get all into that. Uh, and so they hired, th so they got Lex Luthor to help them figure out how to stop Kryptonians. They could add this like, okay, this could be when he creates Bizarro. Bizarro and Doomsday, a combination of the two going to that planet would be pretty cool. Granted, you have a ton, but not all the citizens are going to pitch in. You got to think of it more like a normal world. Not like parents are going to be busy trying to take care of their kids, trying to get them to safety when you've got a monster like Doomsday around, and then you've got the military force that are going to be trying to take on these people. And you could have not tons because I don't want to say robots, but you could have some like red kryptonite robots, some uh, you know, because red kryptonite turns them crazy. And, uh, like, blue kryptonite robots, which I believe blue kryptonite takes away their power. I have to look into all the kryptonites again. Green kryptonite robots to throw in some new, some variations, and it would be awesome. I would show, like, green kryptonite and blue kryptonite, you have to use heat vision, get away from them, but they could have, like, heat guards. You have to go, like, take chunks out of the ground, throw, throw it at them, because you have to do ranged attacks from these guys. Uh, it would be awesome. And then, like, you know, one of your fellow kryptonians is attacking a red guy, he suddenly turns, you know, crazy, starts attacking you, it would just be so cool. It'd, it would be awesome. And also, you could just have normal guys in, like, exoskeletons with Kryptonian-based weapons. If you've read Last Son of Krypton, there's this awesome issue where Superman, I'm not Superman, where Lex Luthor goes around with, like, these Kryptonian-based uh, weapons, taking out Krypton's, le Krypton's, Kryptonians left and right, and it is so cool. Well, you take, he's got these kryptonite based weapons, it's so cool, and he's taking them out, and he's got like this red sun stuff. Another thing, red sun. Another thing right there. It's really cool, and this could be, to me, the enemies are, you have two enemy groups. You have the evil kryptonians that are doing crap, uh, and then again, and then you have the earthlings, 
like Lex Luthor working for the government because Lex Luthor knows how to take down Kryptonians. And you see, like, slowly and slowly, at, and then towards, at the end of the game, you see the build-up. You see War of the Superman's going to happen. War of the Superman is a storyline where they attack Earth, you know, not very, like, hard to figure out another Zod storyline where he attacks Earth. Ooh. Uh, but it still is pretty cool and it offered some awesome fight scenes in the comics. It could lead up to that. In the end, you see that happening. You see, like, Zod giving a speech at the end. And he's, like, trying to justify it because Doomsday and Bizarro attacked. And you had all these, like, kryptonite-based weapon uh, humans attacking. You see, like, they attacked us. We must go after them now, you know. Except, obviously, in the game, the, the um, like, the government guys would have to be labeled something else, like, they could put LexCorp on them, so that way they could throw it on Lex, the government, so that, because the government can't officially be attacking these aliens, they can't be doing it, it doesn't look good on, on them. But, yeah, that is, to me, how to make a great Superman game. Now, as far as gameplay goes, this is where it gets hard, but you gotta think, you've got, uh, X-ray vision as detective mode, heat vision, and freeze breath as your gadgets. And since they're gadgets, they don't need to be overpowered because of the fact that you're fighting Kryptonians, so that's not really going to do much against them, and they can do the same thing to you. And then when you're fighting the, um, the Earth forces, that's where it gets more interesting because you have to use your gadgets, you have to use these, uh, you have to use your heat vision and your freeze breath and stuff to take them out because you have to go more, uh, I'm trying to think, more long range against Kryptonian based weapons. And then some that are like resistant to heat vision, you'd have to, like I said, throw something at them. Or if that doesn't work, you know, you'd have to like go at super speed or you'd have to get a lead suit somehow. Like in, um, like how Batman adjusts to his environment in Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. It would just be really cool, and then, like I said, you've got the investigative element, since you're trying to figure out stuff against Zod, what's going on with Zod, so you can accuse him in front of the people with proof, instead of just being like, Zod's a bad guy because he's done stuff in the past, no one cares about that, uh, because they're stupid. So, yeah, the gameplay element could be great, you could have the mystery element like you had in the Arkham games with the investigating about Zod, the gameplay, the Kryptonians could get a little repetitive because they are the same, you know, same powers. But with the earthly forces, I think it can mix things up, and it's still, I don't care if it's repetitive, as long as it's good repetitive. But for instance, the Arkham games, I could fly around Arkham City all day and just beat up thugs. It's repetitive, but it's so much fun, I don't care. Like, the, the combat sections of the Arkham games, not the boss fights, but the combat sections, they're pretty repetitive, you know, oh, you've got a guy with armor, oh, you've got a guy with a knife. It, it's a little bit different, but it's so much fun. I don't care about how repetitive it is. To me, that'd be the same thing in uh, with the Superman game. You're fighting Kryptonians around New Krypton. It's so much fun. I don't care. Now, obviously, there would be big, there would be flaws with this game, like every game. Like, say you're fighting a Kryptonian in a room. How come you can't punch him through the through the wall and go out into the city? Maybe you can. I don't know. Obviously, this whole game is just what I would like to see. It's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, to me, you've got great gameplay elements with this game already. You can do some awesome stuff. You could even have a whole section where Superman gets, like, shot by Red Sun. And so it's a whole section where Superman doesn't have powers and he has to rely on. Because Superman is a good fighter, if you don't know. And he knows Kryptonian martial arts. He's been trained by Batman. He's been trained by Mongol. He knows some stuff. And it'd be really cool to see you, like, relying on your uh, on what you know and, like, having to go through it. It'd be so cool. And they could throw in, like, so many great boss fights. Like I said, Doomsday Bizarre, they could throw in Cyborg Superman. It, it just, this, the game could be awesome. Now, obviously, it's going to have flaws. It's a comic book meeting, a video game. They can't do a perfect representation, although Rocksteady has come close with Batman. But with Superman, be a lot harder. But still, they can do a great game. Now, as far as main villains go, uh, Hell, he is, you know, it's, uh, he's one of those, he's a Kryptonian, he's one of the Superman villains. They could change him up a bit and have him not like this new Krypton, and he could be the one behind the all, all the evil Kryptonian that's starring that. I'm not gonna go much further into it, because this video is already really long. I'll probably make a part two, who knows, I might make a part two to this, uh, since there are still things that I have not covered that I want to cover about this game. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think they can make a good Superman game? What would you guys want to see thrown into a Superman game? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.